What we're going to do now is we're going to actually build our rollover um, buttons for this uh, website right now. Uh, one of the things we want to do is we w we're going to realize that this is the area that we're going to be working in right here. So we are going to be just kind of looking to see uh, what size we're going to be playing with here in this. This is going to be the area that we're working in right now. So I want you to think about that when we start looking at um, building our buttons. Here is the cycling button. So we want to look at this in terms of we know that this is five inches by basically about two and a half inches or two and two and a quarter and when we look at that we know that that's going to be about that big remember that when we brought this in that was that image was about this big right here so when we looked at it it's five inches by about two and a half well we don't need it to, that big at all okay so what we want to do is think about making this probably about an inch this button is going to be about an inch and a half Okay, about an inch and a half by an inch and a half, let's say. And that should give us a pretty good size uh, button, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and edit my image. And I'm going to say, yeah, it's five inches. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to come in here to width. And I'm going to say 1.5. That's going to make it, um, let's say... Uh, let's give this about 1.75 and that's going to give us about an inch high. Let's look at that and see how that's going to look. Uh, view actual pixels and that's where we're looking right now. That's what we're looking at. So if we look at that right there, uh, remember that we do have some text. Let's go back and look at that. We do have this text in here so we want to think about that. None of it looks to be too darn big but uh, we want to be we want to remember that we do have some text in here so if we want to make it a little smaller now's the time to do that so we want to take into account that text so we're going to go back to image size and maybe bring this down to about 1.5 hit OK yeah that's not too bad that looks like it's it's livable whoops let me go ahead and close that we're going to work with just this right now okay so I'm going to go to File, New, and I know that I'm going to call this uh, Cycle Buttons. Because this is going to be my, remember, this is going to be my PSD. Um, this is going to be my PSD. I want to make this probably about uh, two inches. Let's work in inches, because that's where we were before. So I want to make this about two inches and the height doesn't necessarily have to be that big so I can go in and say I want it to be about 1.75 and even that might be a little large let's just make it uh, 1 we'll say 2 by 1 we'll hit OK we'll come back to here we'll select all hit control C come into our image here again we want to add some layers because we want to put that little graphic in there. Okay, I want to go into this original image, hit Control V, and there's my image right there. Can I get the text in there? We'll see. Uh, it may need to be a little smaller, but we'll figure it out. Um, you'll re remember that this is the buttons and this is how we uh, worked with them before. They're a little small for my taste right here so you know we might have to make this this image a little larger. Let's see if we can do it this way. Let's uh, put it at two and a half. We'll hit OK and we have increased that image just a smidge. Okay. Again we can come back in here and play with this uh, we don't have to necessarily be stuck with this, but I wanted to have a little more room here. Uh, if I don't like it, I can obviously go in and crop this image as well. So that's not a big problem. That's you know we want to have more rather than less because we can always go down, but it's harder to go up once we start playing with it. Um, I want to go in and edit. So I'm going to transform this little thing a bit. I want to edit it a little bit. I want to play around and make it I don't want to make it too small though remember that uh, um, we want to be able to have this as, as our button 
Okay, so <clears throat> this is layer one. I'm going to actually go in and I'm going to duplicate this layer. Uh, oh wait, I want to put some text in here first. So before I start playing around, I'm going to actually go in and add a layer. So I'm going to say new layer. And this one's going to be, um, let's see, uh, us. I'm going to name it as us. And I'm just going to come in here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take that out. I'm going to delete that layer because notice what's going to happen here in a minute. Oh, delete layer. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this text right here. I'm going to set it right here. And I'm going to put us. Uh, I want to stay with the same text that I used because I want to be consistent. Um, I want to take some snapping off. I want to be able to move this puppy around wherever I want. Okay. So there's us. Uh, I want to go in and make some changes. Uh, and us, in this, I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this. I'm going to uh, duplicate the layer and I'm going to say button over. Okay. So now I have two layers. Um, on the button over layer, what I'm going to do is you'll notice what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some blending options. I'm going to actually come in here and hit the blending shadow or I can come in and hit the embevel, the uh, emboss and embevel and then I can have this uh, as a drop shadow. And what I have now is I have the us button. Uh, I'm going to add some blending options to that because I want to have a nice little bevel and emboss and a drop shadow there. Maybe, 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 maybe not. I'm going to hit OK. So let's see how that looks. So there's the button over layer, there's the us, and then there's the button over layer. Um, on the text, I think I want this to be, <clears throat> I want to have some, uh, I have it as sharp. I think I want to do some, oops, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I'll live with it. I think I can live with that. Okay, so now I have this us button here as um, I can have this as the natural state. So I'm going to say I want to export, oh wait, yeah, I want to export this. Let's do this, gosh, gosh darn it. Save for web and I'm going to save this as the cycle button. Oh darn it. cycle button us okay and then I'm gonna turn off that layer turn that one on and say this is the cycle button over and I'm gonna save that for the web okay and then that's gonna be my over state so I'm gonna do that cycle button and then us over so now what I'm doing is I'm just creating these buttons to look like that. Now all I'm going to do is add my text. Um, I can just duplicate layer. Instead of having us copy, I'll just say um, members. I want to start thinking about what it is that I want that uh, button to say. Okay. Now we're going to run into some problems because obviously I don't have room and I want to have some room. Okay. The text right now is currently um, 36. I probably don't need it that big to be quite honest and I should have thought about that before. So I'm going to just move it. OK. 
Okay, so this is kind of where you got to start thinking about what is it you want. Uh, let me turn off the members here. Oops, I don't want to do that. I want to... Well, in fact, let's do this because I don't want to... I'm going to unselect us. I'm going to hit Control Z because I don't want us... Okay. I want us to... Okay, good. I want us to just go in and uh, work with the text. And this is kind of one of those things where you have to kind of eyeball it. Um, and, not, and not really, because I'll show you why in just a minute. Um, if I have all these on, one of the things I can do is I can just have them all line up like that. What I did was I just clicked here, the alignment, the bottom edges, and everything lined up along the bottom there. Okay, so there's members. There's us. I'm probably going to want to move that over. Um, what other stuff did we have here? Contact, FYI, and links. So we don't have a lot. In fact, if we wanted to, uh, let's change members to contact. So we'll go back in. We'll make this contact. Okay, so um, again, this is our button over state for contact, so we're going to go file, save for web, hit save. Remember, this is contact. Oops. And this is our over state. Okay, so we're going to hit save. And then we don't want, we want this to be the normal state. There's contact, save for web. We're going to hit save. And we know that this is going to be our contact regular. So we'll hit save. And then we had, um, let's change that to contact. We want to go in and have another website, um, duplicate layers, and then this one we're going to have FYI. So we'll close contact, double click that, hit FYI, move that over because we know we're in the same alignment. And again, we're going to export this one. This is pretty easy. Once we've decided what our overstate looks like and what our normal state looks like, then we just have to go in and create the buttons or the text, depending on... Now, the text could be your overstate. You could have the overstate, um, the text changing in the overstate. doesn't necessarily mean... It, doesn't, it could be any, any way you want it to be. Okay, so we know that this is going to be this, and it's going to be the over. And then I think we had one that said links. So we're going to go into duplicate layer again, type in links, hit OK. We'll turn the FYI off, double click the text. Because we have everything in there, look how easy it is for us to work with this stuff. So, so easy. Okay. This is links. So we'll go file, save for web. And we'll hit this as over our links over. Hit save. We'll turn off the overlook so it looks just like that. Export that as save for web. Hit save. We'll take that links and we'll just take that over out. 
Okay. So you'll notice now we have the FYI button created, the contact, the us, and the links. Okay. These are the buttons. They're already created. We're done. We can. Uh, I don't want to change my cycling PNG because I want it to stay in the original size and format. So I'm going to say no. I'm going to go ahead and close this. It's going to say, do you want to save the PSD? I do want to save the the Photoshop document because I can go back and make any changes. Maybe it's not going to look good. Maybe it's not going to work out. So there it is. It's uh, saved. <coughs> And now I don't have to worry about going in and um, creating those buttons. All I have to do now is I'm going to slice and dice this little puppy. Uh, one of the easiest things we can excuse me, do is we're obviously going to go now and we're going to go into uh, image ready and slice this. But I want you to take the time, create the buttons, and then we'll come back. We'll slice it. We'll put it in our web page, and then we'll add the iframe content.